All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Handley, and we are live over here in Pierce County where the Clinch County Panthers are playing the Pierce County Bears from AAA classification uh, for a scrimmage game, getting ready for next Friday's regular season kickoff. Uh, ought to be a good game over here. We're going to see what both teams have. Uh, my buddy Brent James is out of town, so we got to substitute in Tom Kennedy. He's on the way. He's eating somewhere. He's always late. He'll be dragging up here shortly. I want to remind everybody the games are brought to you by our sponsors. Uh, we're proud of them. Uh, and if y'all would love to become a sponsor, if you'll let Daniel, myself, Lexi, Connor, Beth, give us a call here at Creek Box. We'd love to hook you up. We got a new sponsor, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Man, you need a mobile home, they can hook you up. Pizza Inn and Waycross, Camping World of Alasta, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Big Daddies on Highway 84, Burt CPA, Napa, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Dre Snack Shack, Hueys, Homerville Jewelers, Dairy Queen of Homerville, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Metal, Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. What is that, Daniel? Paramedicine program. Uh, I'm going to step back. They're fixing to sing the national anthem. Y'all don't go nowhere. All right, everybody. The National Anthem. We're getting ready for the kickoff between the Clinch County Panthers and the Pierce County Bears. Y'all sit right back. We're going to run some commercials and come back for some live football right here on Creek Box. Accidents happen. When they do, call them at Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. 
whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies. Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box Live. I'm Alan Hanley. We're live here in Blackshear, Georgia, over in Pierce County. we got a lot of people tuning in right now. My buddy Marvin Page says, let's go, Panthers. Jonas Gamble says, welcome back to Football Panthers, and good luck tonight. Tanish Patel says, let's go, Panthers. And my buddy Storm Spotter, he's keeping the storm, keeping up with the weather in DuPont, says, uh, report uh, for you, some showers and thunderstorms may clip Blackshear, Georgia, if they survive that long. Otherwise, it should be clearing out. Also watching from the big city of DuPont, Georgia. We appreciate you tuning in, buddy. We're getting ready. Pierce County's all lined up. Brother, they have got about 100 kids. Panthers probably have 35. Uh, Pierce County, the winner of the Class 3A state title two years ago. Uh, uh, looks like they're going to have a rebuilding year, but man, they got nine players back on that defensive line that was so good last year against the Panthers. So We got the captains coming out. It has cooled off some, man, it feels good. It's been hot over here captains for pierce county's number 11 wade device number let's see that is 56 cole mcgartha number five is carson sloan along with number no number 11 i don't got him number 75 and i don't have yeah 75 jackson williams that's your captain for Pierce County. Panthers are putting on their uniforms. Ready to come out. We'll see who the captains are for clinch. Pierce County will be white bottoms with their blue tops. They are white, blue, and silver. Panthers have got their all white uniforms with the red top, with the red helmets. Looks like one of the captains for the Panthers is going to be Alvin Green, number seven. Big running back and defensive lineman. Good crowd over here for the Panthers and for Pierce County. They're still showing up. Yeah, just a little bit more there, Daniel. All right, a little bit more. I'm trying to get this headset situated. I like it loud, louder. Hello, hello. I can't hear. I can hear a little bit, but not like you. All right, you got number 65 for the Panthers as a captain. Also, that is Elijah Cobb, offensive defensive lineman. Aaron Bryant, number four. Of course, number 11, Jeremy Bell. And number zero, Jay Sean Raymond. So they're going to walk out. There you go. You finally got it. I can live with that. Yeah. They'll walk out. And we're going to see who's going to get the ball. There'll be one quarter played with the JV. I don't know. Usually it's the first, third, or fourth. So we'll find out here shortly what quarter it's going to be. Beautiful field over here in Pierce County. They have got a nice facility. What you doing? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Got it? Me and Daniel rolled in about quarter to six. Got everything set up. All right, there's the quarter. It's been flipped. Let's see who won. Pierce County's won the toss, so let's see. Did 
NWC stage to go clinch. Number 10 and number 23, Disney Happiness, Roll Red Roll, Russell Robinson. Let's go, Alvin Green. Angie Purvis says, Roll Red Roll. Come on, from Jonathan and Argyle. Or right, for Jonathan and Angela Talbert from Cuttings. I'm sorry, darling. I got to get my glasses on. Hey. Oh, we're getting ready for some football here. Fixing to get a little loud here when Pierce County takes the field. Pierce County. They got the train whistle blowing. Looks like Clinch County will be kicking off. Kicking for the Panthers. Let's see. Is Joshua. He's been kicking for a couple years for the Panthers. Does a good job. Zoo will put the ball down. So the Panthers will be on defense first. Back deep for the Bears is number two. And I don't have a number two. All right, Joshua getting ready. He's going to run to the ball, and there's a kick. Good kick all the way back to the three-yard line. Number two, it'll be dead. They'll spot it at the 25. Pierce County, I think, is going to be working on their passing a little bit. They changed their offense the last couple of weeks from what we hear over here. And they're going to spot it at a 30. So uh, you can look for them to probably run some five wide. Panthers in white, Pierce County in blue. How about it, brother? You doing all right? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> we got a good, we need good looking men on TV. <laughs> all right, here come the Bears. They are in a spread, one back set. They're gonna hand it off. Number 10, trying to hit the corner, he does. He's gonna pick up eight yards. Tackled in there by number one for the Panthers. That's Gloucester. Good run there by number 10, Marquez Leggett, and he can fly if he ever gets to corner. Second and two for the Bears now. They're playing 12 minute quarters. This is the varsity playing first. Here come the Bears, they'll break the huddle. Panthers in a 4-2, it looks like. Pierce County stays in a spread. There's a snap. Quarterback looking, going to throw a little hit. Oh, almost picked off by Bell. He had it going to the end zone. They were trying to hit number 17, Nigel Brown. That was Caden McGartha, the quarterback. Went right in and out. That's a Christmas present. He won't miss another one of them. That'll make it third and two for the Bears now. Number six coming on. I do not have that young man's name. This is the first scrimmage, so I'm sure some of the numbers aren't right with the roster sheet we have. Here it comes, they run three receivers to the top, one back on the bottom, quarterback and one running back. 
MacArthur takes the ball, looks. He's going to throw a little screen over. He got it, number eight. Caught it. Good job by the Panthers. He didn't get it. He's going to be about a yard short. Trying to hit a little screen, it looks like, or delayed. Good defense by the Panthers. They're going to keep him uh, hemmed up. It'll be fourth and one. Let's see what Pierce County's going to do. You hear yourself? Can you? you can't? No, I don't, yeah, there I can. All right, there you are. <coughs> I got lost in the way yeah, over there. Yeah, no, I told everybody you stopped in here. <laughs> What's that on your shirt, barbecue sauce? No. <laughs> Fourth and one, Pierce County says, we're going to go for it. They stay in a spread. Magartha at quarterback. Look for a little quarterback run right here off tackle. Let's see, and that's what it's going to be. He'll get the first, plus five, 10, yeah. 15, 25. 35, 40-yard gain all the way down to the Panther 20. I've seen that coming, Tom. Hallen, he had a hole wide open. Yeah, I mean, he just run right behind the fullback on the left side. It was open. Yeah, all the way to the 18, Allen. Mm. Panthers held him at fourth and one, and he just broke off a 40-yard gain. Right there on the left side. So now they have it first and 10 on the 18 of the Panthers. Tom, it's cool. Right, what you got in bit. front of me right here? What's this? That's their the roster? Panthers roster. Where's ours? Right there. Right there. And that is Pierce County's okay. roster. There's four pages. They got like 100 kids, brother. I'd just like to point out that it'd yeah. be a lot cooler in the trailer. Yeah. Probably <laughs> just would. Just so you know. But we would be give out. <laughs> All right. Caden, at quarterback, <clears throat> takes the snap. A little quick out. Oh, Panthers had it red. RJ did. Trying to fight through it. Good block, 16, saved an interception. That's Jones Heron for Pierce County. You don't make that block, RJ's got a pick six going in the other direction. Hey, Daniel, how are you? What, am, what you doing here? Second 10 now for the Bears. Alan, there's a pretty good crowd here tonight. The parking lot's full. I'm telling you, a great crowd for a scrimmage game. This is a little bit of a rival game. All right, second and 10. Caden at quarterback. He's got Marquez Leggett to the left of him. And there's four receivers. He's going to give it to Leggett. He'll cut up. Good job there, number seven. For the Panthers, that number is Alvin Green on the tackle. He tripped him up, and I forget who and cleaned him five, up. And number five, was is that number five, was that number five, Blaze yeah, Small? Yeah, Blaze Small. I think you're right, Tom. They held him to no gain. Third and ten now for the Bears. Yeah, they're still coming in, it looks like. Well, it's a pretty field, isn't it? It is a pretty field. Taking their time. Alan, we need one of the scoreboards like they've I'm got. I'm telling with you, that's nice, isn't it? And they screen got another, on top. another little one over here in the corner. All right, empty backfield. The quarterback, that's going to be with a delay of game. Yep, false start. Yep. That'll back them up five, Tom. <clears throat> Going to be third and 15. Third and 15, brother. Where's Emily at? She's right here in front of us. Oh. I told her to come up here and sit. I think she was thinking it was going to be air conditioned. No, nah, it's, it's not. probably it's cooler hot. where she's yeah. at. At least Man, the wind's blowing down there. We'd it's like hot in to here. cut a window right there if we could. <laughs> All right, here we go. Third and 15 now for the Bears. Empty set. Come on, D. Caden, back at quarterback. No running back. He's going to try to run a quarterback draw. Panthers have him wrapped up, number five. That is Blaze Small again on the stop. Looks like he got up to about the 17-yard line, Allen. Let's see if they'll kick it from here. It's going to be fourth and about eight, Tom. They may go for it. They are. Looks like they're going to go for it. 
kicker's not coming on. It's a good job by the Panther defense down here. See if they can hold them one more play. Caden at quarterback, he has a leg it to the right of him. Panthers in a four, two. He's gonna throw it to the end zone. Good coverage by the Panthers. Nowhere to go, Tom. Yep, threw it way over his head, Allen. Just wasn't anybody to throw it to. So good job by that Panther defense. They'll hold them scoreless. Panthers will take over at their own 18-yard line. Allen, I should know this, but I don't. Who's playing quarterback for the Panthers tonight? Well, I think Bryant. We had a couple played last week in the scrimmage. Really don't know. Yeah, Bryant, number four, is at quarterback. I think that's who that is. We got several that can play quarterback. Bryant's the only one back there, wing to the left. He's going to take the snap up the middle. Good run and good hard blocking. He'll pick up four yards. Panthers in that single wing. I don't know, that's going to give them second and six. There's seven minutes and 45 seconds left in the clock. Here in the first quarter. All right, here come the Panthers. They break the huddle, wing to the left. Bryant still at quarterback. He take it. He's going to run to the left this time. Big hole over there. He's going to cut Good outside. Good block, Allen. Good block. He's got the first. He'll step out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Alan Jeremy Bell laid a good block on the outside out he there, getting room to run. Good job by that left <coughs> side of the Panther offensive line. Good run. That was a big play there. All right, Panther break the huddle. Wing to the right now. Two receivers to the right. There's the snap. Bryant rolling that way, looking pass. Those, oh, almost picked off, Tom, by, by number, number 12. 12. That's Jonathan Stone for Pierce County. No, that's, that's uh, Campbell, Campbell Strickland. Campbell Strickland, yeah. Yep. Almost got it. Second and 10 for the Panthers. See what we got one hurt, or they just, I don't know what they're doing. The penalty against the Panthers, Tom? It looks like it. Five yard penalty. Big James William out there refereeing tonight. How is it a, that's a 10 yard, ten yard penalty. penalty. Mm. Must have been holding by the Panthers, I guess. First and 20 now for the Panthers. There's a snap at counter back to the left. He'll pick up two or three. Good tackle in there, Tom, by number 12. You just called his name. Yep. Adam, was that a handoff to R.J. Gloucester? Yeah, coming back yep. a little counter. Number one. Panthers letting the clock run. They'll get the play in. There's, oh, we got a timeout. Timeout, Pierce County, I think. With that, we'll take a break and we'll be back in just a second. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. 
Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. All right, here we are back live. Hey, we got some orders. We got Panthers with the ball, second and 20. They're going to run it right up the middle. There's number 12 again on a tackle, Tom. Great linebacker for Pierce County. Yeah. I don't know, that's going to give us, what, third and 15? Looks like it. They'll let you know when it's third down. Yeah, they will. 6-10 to play here in the first quarter. Now, do the, does the third or fourth quarter they put the JV in? Yeah. How does that work? I don't know when they'll play it, either the second, third, or fourth quarter. All right, the Panthers wing to the right. They got two receivers flexed out wide to the right. Bryant with the ball. He's going to throw it deep down deep the down middle. The field, got it oh, right off his fingertips. He had a step. And that was the Jeremy Bell on the yes, right side. Yes, sir. He usually doesn't miss that when he stretched out for it, just couldn't hold on. So the Panthers will punt. Joshua will come in and punt for the Panthers. And is that Joshua Zuniga? That's him. He was getting off some good ones right here, warming up before the game. He's a senior this year, isn't he? Yep, yep. He's been kicking for about two or three years for the Panthers. And, man, I think he's pretty consistent, 30, 35 yards with a field goal. There's a snap, no rush, it's not live. Pretty good punt all the way down to the 33-yard line of Pierce County. So the Panthers will go back on defense, Tom. With 5.41 to play here in the first quarter. Score still 0-0. Zero to zero. Number one thing, the Panthers don't want to come over and get nobody hurt because, Lord, they can't afford it. They have about 35 kids. Then you look over there at Pierce County with 90 kids. Yeah. And here come the Bears. Caden at quarterback. They run a spread. Three receivers to the top, one to the bottom. One back in the backfield. Take the snap. He's looking. They got him manned up. Right. Good coverage by RJ. It's going to be hard to throw over there on Gloucester. He does a great job. I don't know, he was trying to throw it to... To number eight, but we don't have a number eight. No, we're missing some County. of them. That's right. This being if the first. He wouldn't have put scrimmage. so much air under the ball. He might could have gotten it to him. Twenty-three seconds. Man, it seems like play clock's running slow. I don't know if it's all the hairspray and gel you got in your hair, but something's causing a gnat hey. to come up here. Golly. If you cut a hole in your shorts, they <laughs> yeah, leave your face that. alone. <laughs> <laughs> here come the bears. You're going to take the snap, looking, throws it across the middle. Oh, man, almost Tom Carson Sloan tipped it, almost got it. Tipped it, and then what number is that for the Panthers? Which one? He's walking right away from that. Almost intercepted it. Almost tipped it in his hands. It's either. I can't see. It's number eight, maybe. Number eight for that or, zero. No, that's yeah, that's uh, Jay Sean Raymond. Okay. Yeah. He can fly. It's going to make it third and ten now for the Bears. A 
They stay in the spread formation. Caden going to take it. Ryan, he's going to pick up. He's going to come up a couple yards short, about three yards short. Fourth and three now. This yours? Yeah, yeah. Looks like Pierce will punt this time, Tom. Yeah, it looks like it's fourth and about five to go. This will be a dead punt. Hunter's number five, that is Sloan for the Bears. Oh, low punt, it's gonna hit about the 37, 38 yard line of the Panthers. And go out of bounds. About the 25. 29 yard 29 line. 29 yard line. I thought they should mark it where it hit. But I'm not a referee. <laughs> Could be that. <laughs> Could be, that's right. All right, here come the Panthers, man. Maybe they can flop the field. They had a good drive their last series. We're still in the first quarter here and scoreless. Four minutes and 35 seconds left to go. Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right. There's a snap, Bell at quarterback now. He's going to try to hit the sideline. He does, he's got five. 10 Ooh. yards and knocked out of bounds with the first down. I think it's a first, Tom. Let's see. It's going to be close, Allen. He might be a yard or two short. Let's see where he spots the ball at. Nett says, hello, Creek Box, roll red roll. I think we're right there, Tom, at the top right there. We done read some. Angie Purvis says, let's go Panthers, and Kyle Mars says, let's go Panthers. Oh, man, a penalty. Man, always on first down. That's going to make it first and 20 again. Must have been holding. Oh, Jonas Gamble says, welcome back to football, Panthers. Good luck tonight. And the Panthers, they're going to run that trap right up the middle. He'll pick up three tough yards. Number 12 again on the tackle. That's Campbell Strickland for Pierce County. Adam, we've had said his name a lot tonight I'm already. I'm telling you. We're just halfway through the first. You know, the Panthers, man, you take away the two big penalties, they got a good drive going here, yep. Tom. Bryant back at quarterback now. Wing to the right, two receivers to the right. There's the snap. Bryant's going to run to the right. He'll pick up three, four, maybe five yards. Just like number 18 was in on that tackle. For Pierce County, that's David Morris. Panther offensive line blocking hard. Corbett to center, blocking hard up front. Along with number 55. That's Nick Miranda. Yeah, on this third, as, as we can hear, it's third down and looks like about third, 12, 13 to go. Elijah Lee, another one of them linemen, number 59 for the Panthers. Number 65, Elijah Cobb over here anchoring the left side. Angela Ammon says good luck, Panthers. All right. Delay a game, Alan. Was it? I believe so. Panthers just shooting herself in the foot, brother. That's the last two possessions. That's 30 yards and penalties. Yep. That'll back them up five more. Make it third and 18 now, Tom. All 
All right, Panther break the huddle wing to the left. Bryant at quarterback. Pierce got them all hemmed in tight on defense. Here they come. Snap. Bryant looking down. Throwing it. Get it back. Oh, Tom. Just, ah, just, just barely out of reach, I'm Alan. I'm telling you. He was throwing the ball to number 11, Jeremy Bill. Had a step, but I thought if he underthrew him, he could have called it. He could have come back. Well, I think he, he, he didn't stop, but he kind of went sideways from in. If he had kept going forward, I think he would have gotten it. I, don't bring I think he was expecting him to throw it behind him. Yeah, if he got it behind looked, him, yeah. I think it's a he, touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Bell will catch it and cut them jets on. He's gone. That'll bring Zoo in to punt now. Yep. That's Brent's B-man, I think. There's a snap. Joshua, good, good high punt. punt. All the way back to the 45-yard line of Pierce. With that, we'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Tom Kennedy up here with me. Here come the Bears, Tom. Caden, okay, look, tip. Got it to Sloan. Quick pass. Gonna be good for what? Three yards, three or Tom. Three four yards, Allen. Second and seven now for the Bears. Panthers defense playing good. Little Winston's got to be tickled so far. We get out of this first quarter, Tom. Gonna be second and about six, Allen. Clock is running. Caden breaks the huddle. Spread offense for the Bears. Panthers in a 3-5 or 3-4 now it looks. He's going to pump. Oh, wide oh, open. Wide open, Allen. Touchdown, Pierce County. That's Sloan. You're not going to get Number him. Number five. Right. Here comes the choo-choo. That'll make it six to nothing, Bears. Tom, that, that they, they threw the hitch and threw it and got the Panthers secondary up to bite. And, that was the hitch and go, and it was wide yep, open, wide brother. Open. You've got to know where number five is at all times for Pierce. So that'll make it six to nothing, Bears, on top. Number 24 is going to kick. Tom, who's that? Number 24 is Samuel Braddock. Going to try the extra point. Sloan is the holder. Panthers can't rush. Well, they're all waving their arms, though. They're all into it. Yep. And that was right it's down the Trying to middle. be a distraction to <laughs> them. That makes it 7-0, Alan. All One right. minute left in the first quarter. We'll take another break. Be back in just a second. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. 
Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, my buddy Tom Kendy. Tom, it should be seven to nothing. They got six. Yeah, but they, they'll, they like you said, if we score, they'll put it on yeah. there, I promise. Yeah. Panthers are just shooting herself in the foot. One big play so far for the Bears. Good kick by Pierce County all the way back down to the five-yard line. All right, Alan Rose Griffiths takes it in, said, Go Bears and Go Panthers. She graduated from Clinch in 1976. All right. Said her nephew's the prince before the Bears and her brother's teaching at Pierce County. All right. We don't mind that. We pulled for Pierce County. They're not in Clinch County's region. That's so, right. You know. <laughs> All right, here come the Panthers now. Ball on what, the 29-yard line, Allen. Yeah, they should have it on the 30. They got Bell out here man-to-man. -man. Boy, I'd, I'd be chunking it over this way, too. Wing to the right. they giving Bell plenty of room. Here comes the counter back this way. Good defense by the Bears. Allen, there's three or four Bears on in on that tackle. Number five, Sloan. Number 18, that is David Morris. Yeah, they're about to take away the run. Panthers have that one good run by Bryant. Other than that, the Bears have kept them pretty much hemmed up. Clock running. This will be the last play, I think, Tom, of the first quarter. They might let it run down. Coach Tyson's looking. Come on, let's go. Yep, I think they're going to let it run down, Alan. We got a shout out for the Panthers. Roll, red, roll. Morris and Lord Landrum watching from home. All right. Got that new grandbaby. Lark and Landrum takes the in. Sent a picture of Creek Box right there. He said the All first right. doing his cardio on the treadmill watching the Panthers go, on Creek man. Box. I'm sure we got a big crowd up at Big Daddy's tonight. Yep. Watching it. I want to remind everybody we got a new sponsor, Clayton Holmes. And don't forget, Clayton Holmes of Waycross, they got their summer sale going on. Is that right, Daniel? If so y'all in the mood to buy a mobile home, please go over there and visit Clayton Holmes of Waycross. Panthers Trail, seven to nothing. They'll flop it. Boy, that breeze feels good there. Yeah. Or did you belch? I don't know. No, I, no, like I did. Gust of wind come across me. Y'all come on me. <laughs> hey. Son, y'all still planting trees? Where y'all working at? I was praying. We've been down and I've been from Cross City to Tallahassee. Hey, you we got into in. Craig Gaines down there. Yeah, Cross, I've used you? his shop down there at Cross City <laughs> for about a month. Uh, that's he, where he, he might be sending send me a, a, a bill for rent down there, but. He has to go down there and count all his money. Yeah. <laughs> That's the roughest roads I've ever been on, though. He's not grading any roads. No. So if Craig tells you that down there grading roads, he's telling a story. Hey. <clears throat> and there's no easy way to get across. There's no there, easy way to get there. There's, no, it's nowhere to eat. Yeah. They need, a big, they need a big daddy down there in Cross City. Right. We've been down there for about a month. Oh. Well, you come home every night? Boy. No. Oh, I think so. That's no, a ride. That's a ride. All right, here come the Panthers. Second and 11, Tom. We're fitting to start the second quarter. <clears throat> Pierce County on top, seven to nothing. Second and 12. Still got Bell in single coverage, Allen. Coming in motion, it could be a jet this time. They'll fake the jet, run it up the middle. There's a good Wide block. Wide open. Hole, good Alan. job. Good Looks job like by the Panthers. The first down on that one, Allen. About 11-yard run. 
Good job by Bryant. Good job by Corbett and all the big linemen up in the middle. They faked the jet, the bell, and they bit on it, and Corbett or uh, Bryant pulled it down and stuck it up the middle and went for about nine yards. First and 10 for the Panthers now. They're on their own 42-yard line. Panthers wing to the right. Brian at quarterback. He take the snap. He's looking. Going to throw it. Another deep bails out there. 50 50 Ooh, pass. There and he it is. That's why you got the doubling. You throw it up. You're throwing that 50 50. You, he's going to come down with it. And no penalty. That's the big thing there. Good job by Bryant. Laid it up there and let Bell go up and get it. I. I I, don't, I can't remember what his vertical is. It's unreal. It's a lot higher than oh, mine and yours put man. together. You think he can jump now? Where do you gosh. see him on a basketball court? Tonight? Yeah. Now we got a shout-out from Logan Brown and Sarah Grayson Malcolm from Georgia, Georgia Southern. All right. Here comes Bryant. He's going to fake the jet. Oh, oh, he slipped. Did he stay up? He did. All right. Oh, they missed the field goal? Kyle yep, Morris they, they, they missed, missed the it. field goal. Man, it looked like he kicked it right down the middle. I ain't got my glasses on. Thank you, Kyle. We appreciate that, brother. Maybe that's why they hadn't put it on the scoreboard. Man, Bryant went down to one knee. I thought he went completely down. He stayed on his feet. Picked up two, three tough yards. Wing to the right. Pierce County, nine men in the box. Make it eight now. Panthers going to run a little counter back, number six. Good Allen job. Still on, on his feet. feet. Still on his feet, Allen. Five, four. Good job there by number six, Zalon Blank. Allen, he's running hard. There's three running or four hard. of them wrapped him up and just couldn't hold on to him. He drug two inside the five, so here come the Panthers right back down the field. Good blocking on that left side of the Panther line. And Pierce County said, hey, we need a timeout. All right. We'll, we'll take one, two. All we'll right. be back in just a minute. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're live here in Pierce County. Panthers have it first and goal. They're going to give it to number six again. He'll pick up a yard, yard and a half. He's close, Tom, all the way down to the one. They need to bring the big number seven, Alvin Green, in and run behind him. Oh, mister. Yes, sir. He a He was always on my basketball team when I coached. Um, <laughs> coach, the same size as he was then. No, he's grown since then. <laughs> same height. The same height, I think. That's who's gonna run it. Going right on. up the middle. Touchdown. Adam, gotta be a he touchdown. got in. Yes, sir. Good job there by number seven, Alvin Green. So we're all tied up, Tom. Joshua coming in to try the extra point. Good blocking by Corbett. He's coming off the field, number 51. I seen his granddaddy here, Monk. He looks like he could still suit up and go around or two. B 
Bell will be holding the snap. He'll put it down for Joshua to kick. Right through the middle, Allen. All right, Tom. Panthers are on top. Seven to six. Seven to six. All right, we'll be back in about 30 seconds. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the... Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Tom Kennedy in. Panthers with Kingdom. the lead. Down oh. to the nine-yard line, Alan. Good job by Joshua. <clears throat> They'll spot it at the 30. Panthers playing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the top 10 team. Pierce County, I think, ranked number seven in AAA. One poll had Clinch County ranked number one in the preseason. Really? Uh, I would feel like they're at least in the top five overall. Here come them Bears. Number seven staying at quarterback, that's Caden. They stay in a spread, Tom, one back. Leg it to the left of him. What I think that's that? gonna be off sides on the Bears, Alan. Right. Illegal, you're right, illegal procedure. Coach James will throw that referee, or throw the flag. He's the referee <laughs> on that side. No, that's not James. No, James, James is in the middle. spotting the ball. That's right. That's where I'd like to be. I don't like to be on the sidelines. Get fussed at too much. First and 15 for the Bears. Panther defense playing good tonight. They give up one big play. Other than that, they've held their own. Here come the Bears. They stay in a spread. Panthers in a 4-2. Quick hitch. Oh, Bennett tried. To, he might have tipped that one. Number 19, the Panthers, Weston Bennett. Tell you what, he's going to be a ball player. Now, and he's a heck of a baseball player, too. And I think he's just a freshman, isn't he? Yep. I know in the scrimmage, man, he made two or three big tackles. He's real long, got them long arms at end. That's why he got a piece of that ball. Man, there ain't nobody left in Homerville, Tom. No, they're all here. That's a good crowd here from Panther Nation. All right, here come the Bears. Caden, quarterback, it's going to be a pass or a quarterback run. He's going to run. Good job there, number zero, Jay Sean Jay Sean Raymond. Raymond. You can always tell, Tom, when that running back is in front of the quarterback, it's going to be a quarterback run. Yep. And I think the Panthers are about to pick up on that. Coach Winston smart. He'll figure that out. Coach Weston, he looks like he's been thrown in the river. He's, he does. <laughs> he's sweating. 
I noticed he didn't have that black shirt on. Tonight. No. Third down and about 13, Tom. They say 14 on the board. Nine minutes to play here in the second quarter. Aiden takes the snap, looking, looking long. Going to throw one down the middle. Good coverage by the Panthers. That should have been a flag on Sloan. On offense. Yeah, he drug him down from behind, but it was uncatchable. That was on Who Bryant. Who was that, Adam? Number he, yeah, he no, drug Bryant yeah, down. Drug Good Bryant coverage. down from the back. If it would have been catchable, that should have been a flag on the offense. <laughs> Is that Jamie Hendricks down there? Or it's, Bill? A, it's a Hendricks. <laughs> oh, it's a Hendricks. I saw Bill walking up. I don't know if Jamie's here or not. Yeah, they've been here since 5 o'clock. <laughs> Jamie stopped and eat that Johnny Cash special there in Waycross. That big day. <laughs> <laughs> the man Here's Ella. Back. Thank Ella, you, Ella, you want to come do an interview about your first year at high school? Thank you. Thank come you. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Ella and Sophie. Quick, Sophie, you want to do an interview at halftime about softball? <laughs> We're going to do Y'all a couple good? of games for them, I think. they got a pretty good middle school softball team. Yeah, we've team. got a really good middle school softball team. Have you got a schedule, Tom? Uh, Yeah. Man, text phone. me a schedule, man. All right. Oh, man. Out in the future is really looking good for Clinch County I'm girls softball. You. I think they got a good team this year at the high school, and you've got a bunch of young – Young girls coming up. Two, three years. Yep. They're going to make a run. Oh, Sophie is just up here. She's a heck of a oh, pitcher. Yeah. She'll be she'll yeah. be in ninth grade next year. Yeah. So she'll be playing on the varsity. I bet she gets a lot she, of pitching time. Man, she's going to be a good basketball player, too. Yeah. She's got some height on her. All right, Tom, the Panthers, great job by Little Winston's defense, man. Got the Panthers, Pierce County Bears, three and out. So here come the Panthers on offense. Wing to the right. Bell at quarterback. He's going to take the snap, looking, hesitate, nowhere to go. He Sloan. breaks off of it, though, yeah. Alan, and goes to the left, but he ran into Sloan. Yeah, nowhere to go. And when Sloan gets his hands on yeah. you, he doesn't let go. Sloan, I think he has four or five colleges recruiting him. That's going to bring up, they lost about two yards, second and 12 for the Panthers now. Panthers holding on to a 7-6 to six lead here in the second quarter on a hot, humid Friday night in South Georgia. Here come the Bears. They're in a 50 defense, a 5-2. Panthers trying to run. Good blocking, oh, good, good hard good running. Old. Good job. That's, that's number, number five. Was, no, is that not five, five. That, is that five? No, no number nine, nine. nine. Tom, who was that? That's Xavion Johnson. We got some running backs now. Good blocking. You know, Pierce County, they got nine men in the box, and the Panthers are still, still running right three, up the middle four, on five them. yards. Langston, boy, right, he's got to be happy. It was like third and six. Yeah, it looks like Pierce County bringing in some fresh defensive linemen, some of them big dogs. Langston Hendricks, man, he does a great job coaching for the Panthers. He helps the Panthers. There's another quick snap. Number nine again. Oh, he, he got, got it, first man. Down, He's Alan. running He's hard. Still going, dragging bro. Tackle. Run through one or two of them. He probably got another four or five yards after he they locked did. him up. Boy, he got them big thighs pumping down low. That's number nine again. Panthers moving the chain and chewing on the clock. Panthers are up seven to six. Panthers bleeding the clock, 20 seconds on the play clock, wing to the right. There's another one right up the middle. Right. Get over. Oh, that's hard a good lick. hit right there, Alan. And number 12, Tom, the one that put it on him for Pierce. That is Strickland, isn't it? Yep. He's made several tackles tonight for the Bears. Alan, I want to give a shout out to um, 
My buddy's over here in Blackshear, Mark and Wally Dixon. They own a, the Dixon Ford Tractor Company, right? They're coming into town. They um, Their mother just passed away this week. Mm, but, man, um, I hate that. We've been doing business with the Dixons for since I was a little boy. So mm. The other day I sent Taylor over here to get something. He's the third generation of Kennedys doing business at, <laughs> at the Dixon Tractor. Yeah, me and Harry Wayne came to one of our buddies' funerals last week. Yeah. Uh, Red Bennett went to Pat Bennett. We went to back together. He passed away a couple of weeks ago. We want to keep the, his family in your thoughts and prayers also. All right, Alan, that was uh, – Number 16. Was, yeah, Jeremy Bell tried to do a sweep out to the outside and turned around and went backwards, going to try to go the other way and just couldn't make up any ground. Probably lost. A pile. Uh, looks like 12, 13 yards there. Third and 19 now. Good job by the Pierce County defense now. Yeah, that's Jamie. <laughs> Bell, they got him back man to man, but he's got about a 12 yard cushion. Brian at quarterback, wing to the left. He's going to take a snap looking. Ooh. He's going to Bell again. Bell up. Oh, oh just a little bit too high, Alan. Yep. Didn't have the timing right. Bryant couldn't hold it no longer. He held it as long as he could. Yep. Number 55 and number five was all over him. 55, I don't have his name. Number five, of course, of course is Carson Sloan. That'll be fourth down for the Panthers now. Fourth and about 19, Allen, 18 or 19. Five minutes and 12 seconds left to go in the – Second quarter, Panthers are up seven to six. And you know, even on that touchdown that they scored, I mean, we've we've held yeah, it. The defense right. have done it has done a great job. It was just it was one a, big play, one big play, one big pass down the side. Joshua's back to punt. Allen, he's doing a good job tonight. Yep. That's down to about the 25, 20, 24, yeah. 25 yard line. Well, that's but they'll the spot it on the 30. Over. Oh. Do we take commercial now or when, you, when do we take breaks? We'll take one in just eight. a little bit. Okay. All right. <laughs> you want some more of that bio light? No, I don't. You sure? No, you can have the rest of it. I don't want any. <laughs> I don't want nothing. Mm. Well, we will take one. It's like watering them yeah, down, Yeah, looks like Tom. you're taking a water break. We'll be back in 37 seconds. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Panthers leading 7-6 to six over Pierce County over here in Blackshear, Georgia. There's a snap. Quarterback Caden, good run, and he'll pick up eight, nine yards, Tom. Alan, I thought they were going to – they always spotted it on the 30, but they didn't that time. They no, put he, it where, he, where he, he caught it. That's right. He got up to about the 25, 26-yard line. So it's going to be two and about four. He's the leading rusher for the Bears. That's really the only running play that's working for Pierce. Yep. That little lead, fullback leading the quarterback in. 
Old Disney Happiness said it was third and Mainer. That's right. <laughs> you got that right. Play clock running. We're under 10 seconds now. Five seconds. It's going to be clock. another quarterback Three. run to yep. the right side. Oh, he broke it again, Tom. Another big gain, yep. seven, eight it's yards. Be first down, Allen. That'll stop the clock. Man, I've got a fan, one of those Dewalt fans we bought for softball games, and um, Emily had wanted me to bring it. And I forgot it. I wish I'd have brought it because we'd have had it up here with us. We got one. It'd have been blowing right here on the on the big guy. One of them big blowers. No, nah, this is out. just. Oh, it, it blows though. It'll blow you down. Yep. I'll have that Friday. Oh, Where's man. the game next Friday? In Homerville. Is it? Brent will probably be at that one. Oh, yeah, he don't, yeah, miss, home he don't miss a home game. Yeah. No. Hit next one he missed will be bear season. Yeah. First and ten for the Bears. He's gonna fake it this time. Wide open down the middle. Good job. Oh, oh gonna call a I pass guess. interference on number is that number one yeah, Allen. Yeah, that's all RJ Gloucester. I guess he said he got his right hand in there early. I don't know. It was close. That'll be an automatic first down. So here they are, right dead on the 50 yard line. Hey guys, Joe C., Nick Johnson, and Lawton watching from Beckley, West Virginia. All right, man. I've forgotten how many texts I get on my phone during Creek <laughs> Box. Yeah, that's right. All right. Got to make sure it's charged up at the beginning of the game. Come on, somebody. Here come the Bears under four minutes now, 325 to play in the first half. Caden with the snap, looking, going to throw a little out. Number right, six, number good six. job. Number six is we don't have number six, Allen. Nope. Good tackle there by Bryant for the Panthers. That'll keep the clock moving. Two fifty nine. Clock running. Caden at quarterback. He'll take it. He's going to run it off tackle. He's got the first down and about eight more. He'll pick up another 10 yards. Now the Bears are driving the, driving the ball this series. You all right there, buddy? I am. That's why I wanted that Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> That'll stop the clock's running. 2.30 to play now. Here comes another quarterback lead over here to the left. He took Sloan out of the game, Allen. He's over here getting a break. He's been playing every, every down. There it is, trying to get number three, overthrows him. Panthers in good coverage. Coach Chase running down the field, making sure. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm good. No, I was saying I had to make sure it was charged up before the game. It is. 2.18 to play here in the first half. If y'all know any scores, man, text me and Tom. Let us know who's playing. I'd like to know the Irwin and Sly County score, if y'all know it. Where County is, uh, I forget who they're playing. There's a snap. They're going to throw it out over here to the right. Good job by the Panther defense. Incomplete. Yeah, Third and pass 10. to number 17, Nigel Brown. Three. Yeah, and they, Pierce County's got about four pages for their roster. Yeah, Clinch has got one and a half. 
All right, Alan, looks like it's third and ten for the Pierce County Bears. Money down for the Panthers right here. They need to hold it right here. He didn't here. holler third down when it's their third no. down, does he? Nope, only when it's defense. Daniel, get you a microphone and start hollering third down on them. <clears throat> or just give it to Jamie. He'll holler it. It's going to be a quarterback run or a pass. It's a quarterback run. Right off tackle, and he's going to pick up four yards. And their quarterback's number seven, Caden McGatha. Yeah, McGatha. He's, yeah, McGatha. He's six foot, 185. He's just a junior. Yeah, he, he's probably got 50, yep. 60 yards rushing yep. tonight. All right, Alan, they're going to call a timeout, so we'll take a timeout too. We'll be back in 39 seconds. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. We look forward to seeing you. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. Panthers trying to hold them here, fourth and five. Bears needing a first down. They're empty now. Caden at quarterback. He's looking. He's going to run it all the way. Got Ooh, the ball. Hard good lick. hard hit, Alan. Who but he that? got the first. That's Bryant that come up and laid the wood, I think. All right, Alan, we got a couple of scores. Ware County 17, Cairo 0. All right, go Gators. Berrien and Charlton tied up at 14-14. Oh, man. That's who the Panthers got next yep. week. Mate, at 19 to nothing, Ware County. Lanier County, zero. Macon County, 10. Oh, that's a close game. Yep. And it's still in the first quarter, the Ware County game. Nothing on Irwin? No. -uh. I'll tell you, Caden has run the ball all the way down the field for the Bears. Oh, Trip Corbett says, let's – Let's go CCHS. There you go. There's another pass down the middle. Flown. Touchdown. Oh, touchdown, Allen. He caught that falling down. He did. All that was set up by yep. Caden running the ball up the middle. That makes it 12-7 to now, 128 to play in the first half. That was a good drive by the Bears, Tom. That was 75 yards. Yep. And I would say – probably 50 yards by the quarterback running. Number 33 is on the kick, the extra point for the Bears. That's our camera, Daniel. That you're moving right there. Snap, kick. That one looks that good. One looks good. Yep, that one's good. Going to make it 13 to 7, Allen. If the train horn quit blowing, with a minute and 28 seconds left to go in the second quarter. We'll take a short break. Be right back. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family 
or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Right. Bears up, ain't it, Tom? Yep. 13 to 7. See what the Panthers going to do here. Well, 128 to play in the first half. Kicked it down to the 11 or so, Alan. Yeah, but they'll spot it at the 30, I'm sure. That was well, now, why are they, they spotting Alan at the 30 in a while ago when we kicked off and it went down? They, they didn't a, there. What? That was a punt. This is a kickoff. They'll spot all kickoffs at the 30. All right. Yeah. It's just like it's I guess in that the makes end sense, zone. yep. They'll spot it yep. with a punt. I got you. All right, Alan, we did get a score in. Sly County's 14 and Irwin 6. Man, I'm telling you, Sly's got a team. They're the defending Class A, our division state champion. Yep. They beat Johnson last year. <clears throat> that tells me Sly's going to be loaded. All right, Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the right. There's the snap. Bryant running. He's going to pick up two, maybe three yards over here on the right-hand side. And, Alan, I, I got to give a shout-out to one of Ella's buddies that's a cheerleader over there for um, Pierce County. Yes, sir. Amelia Jeffries. She's – um. Now, you want to talk about a great pageant girl? She, man, she's won a bunch of them. She, she's really good at pageants, but she's also a cheerleader for, they have got for the Bears. Pretty little cheerleaders. I'm looking, I don't guess the Panthers come. Here comes Brian again. He's going to run up the middle. He might have got a yard. 45 right, seconds clock running. Going to be third and about seven, maybe five or six. I think Coach Tyson would just like, wants to get out of here down 13 to seven at the half. No. They call a timeout. I don't know who called the timeout. They, but the clock's running. Uh, you all right? They didn't stop the clock. Nope. That's going to do it. it, Tom. Yep. All right, Alan. Well, we'll be take a break for halftime. We'll see y'all the third quarter. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, 
Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you.
All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Henley. I got my buddy Jamie Hendricks with me. Man, Jamie's boy's out here coaching. He coaches the offensive line, defensive line. He co what all does he coach, Jamie? He's doing the offense and the defensive line. Does a great job, Langston, yep. man. I, I know he's going to be give out because he don't sit out. He don't. <laughs> he's high strung. He's wide open. He is very vocal. All right. Well, Jamie, I tell you what, I'm pretty impressed you take away – the one big play down here, yep. the pass play, the Panthers are still leading, you know, seven to six. Yeah. What's hurt the Panthers and is the quarterback running. He's probably got 60, 70 yards rushing. He's right up to good. He's got that blocking back lead him, and, and man, we just need to adjust, and our tackles has got a pinch down on him. And, look, he's their guy. That's right. And, and he's what's going to make Pierce County go. Without him – they're not going far. That's right. And he's just a, a great ball player. Well, brother, and it's about 100 degrees, and they got 100 kids, and we're playing about 18, 20 kids. We are. Maybe. They steady two platooning, and our kids are staying right there. But what I like, Alan, uh, we ain't had the first kid cramp. That's right. That's right. And, man, that the, the conditioning program this year, you know, Coach Tyson and the staff has did a great job getting the kids ready. And it's showing tonight. They they still learning this offense, but I, I think they're going to be fine the way it looks. Well, Jamie, I've had some people ask me about the booster club. How can they help the football team, man? And you can answer all that. Man, what, what, what's going on? Uh, we try to feed them every week at least one meal. Uh, we try to do that on Thursday nights mm -hmm. so they got a good meal. And they can get with me and Bill or, or – Langston or any of the coaches, and we can get that lined up, and they can help out. It ain't much to feed these kids. Uh, Gregory up at Richards is, is giving a real good deal to, uh -huh. the, to the football program, and he's feeding them good. And uh, people that wants to help out, uh, Mr. Alex and Kathy Cornelius, yeah, they've, done Farms, they, yeah, right. they've done a lot. And, man, TJ and Tiffany and Ryan Moore right. and, and Moore Farms has helped tremendously, and they all have been helping with – getting the kids protein shakes and Gatorade shakes and mm -hmm. stuff to help the kids along. And, man, if anybody wants to help, just approach one of us. And it don't matter if it's $5. That's I mean, right. Whatever That's we right, can brother. get, it helps, man. That's right. That's right. If you got a teenager at home, you know how to eat. That's right. That's and right. it takes an army to take care of these kids, and, and we need all the help we can get. Well, the Panthers have enough tradition. They ought not to want for anything. You're right. We're an eight-time state champ, and, man, we're blessed with what we do have. That's right. But we should have a lot more, in my opinion. That's right. And, you know, we're tickled to get a new high school, and, man, that thing's nice. Boy, and, it is. It's going to be woo, nice. It is nice, and we're proud of that, and hope we can get some more stuff, and and I think we will. Uh, That's right. This team this year looks real good, Alan, and they might be – if they can get a few more pieces together, they might be putting another banner up up there. That's right, man. You know, me looking between last year and this year, it looks like we're a step ahead. We are. Where we were a year ago at this time. We are, and we really, we're a young team. That's right. And playing a lot of freshmen, and they just still trying to figure it out. That's right. But they, they look real good. This is the only team that has gave – clinch uh, any struggle except for Lowndes well, in that, OTA camps that's right. this year. Well, they've got nine in the box. Yeah. They're kind of sitting on it. Uh, and, man, we've hit them a time or two. Yeah. And Bell, you know, boy, he's missed two. Two. Just right off his fingertip. First play of the game, he had a pick six. Had a pick six. And, man, he's all over the place. And and he he is the key that's going to keep us going. That's right. Uh, teams respect him. We put him in motion. The linebackers are flowing out with that's him. That's right. And, the young guys has got to pick it up, but what I do like what I see tonight is I done forgot the kid's name, and they might get about Mighty Mouse running the ball. Number six, number nine. Number nine. Xavier, Xavier Johnson. Xavier Johnson. Look, that kid is amazing. Boy, he is. He runs it hard he runs it. He runs it as hard as I've seen in a long time here Looks in like Prince County. Looks like old Pumpwood Smith. Yeah. <laughs> But I tell you, he reminds me of, I don't know if you remember him, but in 2001, we had downtown Antonio Brown. That's right. And that's, that, right. that that's how Xavion's running. We all, all I know him by is Mighty Mouse. That's so right. Hope his parents don't get mad at no, him. No, boy, that's what his nickname is, and we called it last year. <laughs> but, man, regardless of what happens tonight, the Panthers have traveled over here playing the number four or five ranked 
triple a team toe to toe yes so you got to feel good about that the main thing is we don't want to get nobody hurt so nobody hurt uh you know, how far do you go in the second half i know the jv will play one of these quarters they, that i right? think yeah they're gonna play the fourth i think what well, somebody told me where to go but uh man we're running our base offense and they run a few things that you know that they've worked on and Right there in the second quarter, they went back to their traditional single wing, and that's when we went down the field and that's scored. Right. That's right. That's uh, right. I think they four seen and five that. yard them to death. That's, that's right. That's right. That's all we want. We we get three and a half yards of carry. We never punt. That's right. The first quarter, we kept getting holding calls, and we was playing behind uh, we the sticks. We had thirty yard penalties and two possessions. And I don't care what kind of offense you run, you can't overcome no, that. No, that's right. So with but the now, offense uh, we're running, that's that's it's a death sentence. You got to stay ahead of the ball. Absolutely. You got to stay ahead. Jamie, we got some scrimmages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Irwin and Sly. That was fourteen to seven. Sly. Yeah. Uh, you got Barry and Charlton. I think they're tied up fourteen to fourteen. Does any of them surprise you? I am shocked with Sly and Irwin. I've seen Irwin play in the OTAs twice this year. Mm -hmm. Man, they look great. But Sly has that quarterback, and yeah. they got the receiver, and they got the linebacker. Now, every one of them is five stars, the way they talk. <laughs> but uh, Sly is probably the team to beat in Class A Division Two. Well, they they won it all last year. Is that right? They played for it. They got beat by Bowden. 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 Uh, Bowden was loaded senior-lated team. And, man, they just had a, a, a running back, and they kept that quarterback on the sideline, you know, which is the name right. of the game. That's right. You play in a team with a great offense, you keep them on the sideline. Well, brother, we appreciate you taking the time to come up here, and we'll holler at you. We're going to hook up Monday and record for the pregame Friday. We're going to be up at Big Daddy's Monday at 6.30. 6.30, they're going to do it. Uh, we thank the people of Big Daddy's. They're going to be doing players of the week. Uh I would tell you what the specials are for Monday, but I, I, I can't remember what they told me. <laughs> Just come up there and you'll find come out. Come up there Monday at 6.30. Come up there and have a good time. Ask questions to the coaches. That's We're going right. to have some players there. Get to know the team, and let's get some pride back in Clark County. Right. I want Man, we want to see the kids loved it when we played. The downtown was painted up. That's there was right. red balloons everywhere. Right. We need to get back to that. That's right. It's been too long. It's been, been too long. <laughs> well, brother. God bless you. We love you, and we'll see you Monday. All right. Accidents happen. When they do, call them at Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines, and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salad, pasta, dessert, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. 
Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue Homerville has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the D. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. 
It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Always uh, welcome back to Body Creek Box TV. I'm trying to mash the wrong button over here. Try to hit the black one, but we appreciate Jamie Hendricks coming in here talking about the he said Panthers. He, he said he talked for three minutes, didn't say one cuss word. He did. He did a good job. He did. Tom Panthers playing tough. Thirteen they are playing to seven. Tough, Alan. Pierce on top. And you know one of Pierce's touchdowns. I mean they were on the yeah like the big the, play. The, other side of 50 and just one great play, you know. Well, you know, like me and Jamie was talking about, the first play of the game should have been a pick six by Bell. Then he dropped uh, over through just inches. He stretched out for it. To the Twice. Bench. Yep. And we've had those penalties. There was one penalty, 20-something yard penalty. That's right. right. I mean, so, man, the Panthers have played toe-to-toe with the AAA team from Pierce County. Here come the Bears. They'll kick it off. Good kick by the Bears all the way down to about the seven, eight yard line. That's something. Next week it'll be live. Bell can take it to the house. Yep. So, uh, all he's got to do is break loose just a little uh, bit, that's right. and there won't be any catching him. So the Panthers will take over. This is the last quarter. The varsity will be playing. The JV will play the fourth quarter. Tom. Will it be a running clock? Uh, it usually is. The Panthers run an empty set. Bryant's going to throw it to Bell. He'll pick up about seven or eight, about seven yards, Tom. Threw it a little low, but he went down and caught it, but he, he just had to sit down with it. He couldn't run. Just a simple curl route. Yep. It's going to make it second and about four, Alan. Yep. Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the left. Brian at quarterback. Come to receiver. Bell in motion, and we're going to have, I guess, a line. on the – I reckon a lineman move, James, to a flag, illegal procedure. That's going to back the Panthers up five. That'll make it second and eight. Jeremy, where's that? Hang on, I got to get my glasses. What did he say? Thanks, Lanier versus making 17 to nothing, making it halftime. Making they're loaded. They got a good team now. Lanier playing them rough. There's a snap. Bryant's gonna roll to the left. He throws it out. Trying to get it to number six, Tom. That's number six for the Panthers is Zalen Blank. Zalen Blank. Man, that was my all-star basketball team back when they were nine and ten. I had Zaylin and and AJ and um, Blaze was on there one time, and <laughs> yeah, they were a bunch of good and, uh, one of the Tyler, one of the Talbert kids, <laughs> Tyler Talbert. Tyler, Tyler was man. always my go-to. Uh, third and eight for the Panthers now. Pierce County gonna blitz this time. They do. Bryant's going to run. He lowers his shoulder. He's going to pick up three, four tough yards, but that's going to be short. That's going to make it fourth and four, Tom. So let's see the Panthers will probably punt here. Look for. Uh, yep, bring it on the punt team, Allen. There we go. Thirty-six yard line. 
I told Emily I wished I'd have brought that fan. She <laughs> said, yes. Yeah. She said, you wouldn't have it up there. She said, I'd have it down here with me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, when I get home, I'm laying in the shower, cuz. <laughs> Just going to lay down <laughs> yeah. in the shower. There's a good snap. Good punt, good high punt there by the Panthers. They're going to spot it at the 40. It should have been the 38. So the Bears will take over first and 10 on their own 40. Leading 13 to 7 here in the third quarter. If y'all have any more scores, y'all let me and Tom know the old updated scores. If you want to, you can just stop by the house and just jump in the pool for a minute and float around the pool. Yes, sir. That's what's good. After a game, you go home and just get in there and then get in the recliner under the ceiling fan and lay back. <laughs> lay back. All right, here come the Bears. They stay in a spread formation. Looked like Caden was going to run it again. He's run it the whole game. Let's see what the play here is. Offsides on the Panthers. That's about eight or nine penalties on the Panthers tonight. That's going to make it a first and five. Tom, when do the dogs play? What is it, a couple weeks, two or three weeks? Yeah, I think so. Little Allen getting all hyped up. He is. That three-peat on the line, baby. There's the quarterback again, Caden. Good job, Bennett. Go. Oh, that's not Bennett. That's number five. Oh, who's that come Ooh. across the top? That was number zero. zero. Yes, that's sir. Jay that Sean is Raymond. Number five held Blaise him up. Small. Small did, and Raymond come and clinged his clock. Good job by that Panther defense. And I saw Blaze the other day in Carter's, I think, or somewhere. And he's made a big old boy. Oh, brother, all them's big youngins. You don't realize how big they are until you walk down there stand by them. Yep. Smell like fried chicken. <laughs> Here come the Bears. They break the huddle. Tied in to the left. Three wide receivers, one back. Ain't look going to throw it out. Good job by Bryant all over to be incomplete. Pass. That was pass number six, and we don't have – that's the, the unknown bear. So, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. What you do? I accidentally uh, stuck it with the pen. <laughs> 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 Uh, he didn't even flee. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, we got a It's never yet. dull. <laughs> no. Well, there's the first cramp of the night, Tom. That's impressive, that brother. Is, that is, Alan. Shows you uh, what kind of shape the Panthers are in. Well, mine. Oh, right there, Tom. What? We got some ticks in. Uh, tw- Berrien County 21, Charlton 14. Oh. Six minutes left in the third quarter. I see the Panthers play next Friday. It's Berrien, Berrien County. Yes, sir. Ware's probably cleaning their clock. That is Bryant cramped up. He's still cramping a little bit. He'll be all right. Get over here and get some fluid in him. Throw down that thing Daniel got me. What is that called over there? <laughs> he that that bio down. light. Hey, he won't cramp the rest of the evening. The IV in a bottle. Yeah. Man, you, you can imagine how tired he is. He's playing quarterback, running back, yep. linebacker, defensive back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he comes off the field at halftime. Here come the Bears now, third and about seven. Panthers in a 50. Look for that quarterback to run it again. That's been their go-to, and there it is. There it off is, right up again. the middle, Alan. Boy, he does a great job of finding a hole. The Panthers linebacker flew up and took the fullback on, but Caden does such a good job to read his block and cut to the inside. 
And he'll pick up seven, eight yards and move the chains. First and 10, Bears move the chain. <laughs> Jamie said he's seen about enough of that now. <laughs> Uh, I bet you he's about up to 100 yards tonight, Tom. Empty set. He's going to roll looking. He's going to throw it down deep. Wide Got him out open, there. Allen. Wide open. Touchdown. Touchdown. That's number eight for the Bears. Is that number eight? Yep, we don't have him. We don't have him. That was set up by running the football. Yep. They draw everybody in. The safety hesitated, and he run right by him. The safety's been having to come up and tackle the quarterback, and that's what happens, Tom, when you can't stop the run. I don't make it 19 to 7 now. 8.26 to play in the third. Number 33 on to try the extra point again. Number 33, that's on page David two. David Lines, isn't it? Yep. There's the snap. It wasn't pretty, but it went no, right but it was down good. the middle. All, All right. right, Alan, that's going to make it 19 to 7. Pierce leading in the third quarter. Eight minutes left to go. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Accidents happen. When they do, call them at Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines, and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good evening, everybody. We're back here. I, I was waiting for the kick return to come on. The Panthers just put one back, which, I mean, it's dead. So. Yep. 20 to 7, the Bears are pulling. And Tom, I think this has got a lot to do. Pierce County's got 100 kids. The Panthers have got 34 kids. Yep. And the Panthers, I mean, most of the guys, or a lot of the 75%. guys are, are play, playing both ways. Every one I mean, of them big linemen. Yep. And it's hot. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. hot. Man, look, it looks like I poured a bottle of water. Well, I down. asked Daniel, so what <laughs> happened? There? He said, Alan's sweating that much. Man, that's the fro I feel like Frosty the Snowman in here, man. There they go, snap up the middle, hard running in there. Is that Mighty Mouse again? Yes, sir, that's him. He jumps up, now he'll run, boy. He can run that football. That's Xavion Johnson. Boy, he runs it hard. He does, Alan. I'd hate to have to tackle that little short thing right there. <laughs> he run over you and hurt you. We got a timeout. I know somebody's limping off for Pierce. Winston looks like they poured Gatorade yep. over his head at halftime. All right, Panthers have it second and six. They're going to give it to Mighty again. He's going to fall forward. You're not going to get him for a loss. He'll pick up three yards. That's right where the Panthers want to be. It's going to be third and about two, third, Tom. Yep. Third and. I'd give it to him again. I would too. <laughs> 
I tell you what, Pierce County, that linebacker number 12, Campbell Strickland, he's played a well of a game for the Bears. He's been on about 70% of the tackles. Yep. There he is again. We're going to run off tackle. This time they had nine about three, in the box. Yep, about three of them waiting on him in the backfield, yep. wrapped him up. He might have got a foot. All them girls be ready to swim tonight, Tom, when they get home. I don't care, but they can do it quietly. I'm going to bed after I take a shower. <laughs> Fourth and two and a half. Coach Tyson, let's see. We're here. Actually, it's the fourth quarter. The game's yep, on the line. The game's you know on I mean? the line, yep. You got to and go. We 20 got 20 seconds, seconds left, and they fix them. They're going to take Mighty out. I think they see what they're fixing to do here, Alan. Plenty of time. 10 seconds. Nine, seven, five. Get it. Come on. What'd they do? Pierce County. Pierce County. Timeout. Called a timeout. All right, Alan, we'll take one, two. We'll be back in 37 seconds. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled... All right, everybody, we're back here. Panthers going for it, fourth and three. It's your ball game here. Really the fourth quarter because the B team will play in the fourth. Tried to make them jump, Alan. Let's see. We're going to Langston's calling in another signal. I think that's Langston down there with the yellow hat. Seven seconds left on the play clock. We're not going to snap, snap it. the ball. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he did. He ran it right Not right, going to run it. Lead oh, out. He yeah. got it, Tom. Bounced off one. He did. Bounced he off got, and run over, over one. over somebody. They got the first down, Alan. Good hard running by Bryant. He stiffed on one and run over the other and drug down two of them, drug him down. But not before he gets six, seven yards. All right, Alan's going to be first down on the 45-yard line. Here come the Panthers. They're moving now. They're going to run a little spread. For now they got wing to the right. They just got two receivers down here on the bottom. Bale, the inside receiver. Bryant's running. They're going to hand it back to number six on the counter. Good job by that defense from Pierce. Number 12 again. I'll tell you what, that kid's playing some football. Number 12, Strickland. Yes, he is. He reminds me of a Handley. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Fred Tiller text in. Let's go clinch. Killer Tiller, baby. That was a ball player. You're talking about a 50-50 ball. When you threw it up, Tiller yep, would go get it. He was going to get it. We got them eyes for him where he could see. That joker didn't miss yeah. a ball now. Oh, Fred, a hitch. He could play every position. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver. Come the Panthers. They're going to play up. Brian up the middle. He'll cut back. He'll pick up two. That's going to make it third and eight. Five, ten to play in the third. Remind you, the JV will play the fourth quarter. Let's see. Uh, this is probably four down territory. If he doesn't get it, he won't at least get half of it here. Come on, come on. Third and eight. Jamie Hendricks finna start hollering. Here comes Bale out. You can see two of them coming with him now on third down. They got him shallow and deep. 
Now he'll pull two out of the box. Come on, seven seconds running. Now they'll pull Take one, one off. off. There's the snap. They're going to run it right up the middle. And he he hit him and spun boy. off, Allen. He did. Big 75. Boy, laid the law down but didn't wrap up. Jackson Williams, man. Boy, he hit him. Good job by Brian. He just spun Allen. off of yep. it. Bryant picked up three or four yards, Allen, but it's going to be fourth down in about seven. Panthers are going to go for it. Four minutes and two – or. Three minutes, 55 seconds left to go in the what we're calling the fourth quarter. This is That's the last right. quarter for the varsity. Fourth down. Wing to the right. Bryant back at quarterback. Looking, looking. Everybody run around. Oh, oh, and it was almost intercepted. He was trying to get it to number three, Tom. That's Travis Miller. So that'll be a turnover, and here come the Bears back in good field position. It's 20-7. to seven. The Panthers would, would love not to let them score another yep. one to make it look bad because it's been a close game. It's been a close game, Allen, but three minutes and 30 seconds left, 35 seconds left to go in, in the last quarter of varsity play. That's what Coach Wentz is telling them, boys. Don't give up. Hang on. Three minutes and 36 seconds for me. Tell you what, the Panthers have played hard on a hot Friday night here in Pierce County. At halftime, it was still, what, 89 degrees? Y'all doing any varsity um, girls softball next week? We did, uh, we did one Thursday. We got one Tuesday in Homerville. There's a little hitch over Pierce County, still passing the ball, number eight. He just caught the last touchdown yep. pass. So the Bears. Panthers had him wrapped up and just couldn't bring him down for about five yards, Allen. Bears trying to score again. So Y'all doing the game Tuesday. If I'm in town, I might. You yeah. got anybody helping you? No, no it's right. just me. And Daniel. Well, Daniel, man, you left the other night and it come up. I had to wait on. <laughs> Daniel had to work. <laughs> Daniel's got like four jobs. I know, I know. So he usually set me up and he leaves. I'll come run the cameras and the computer. I'll have we, it so messed up. We don't even up. move the camera. <laughs> we, we set it up, baby. We don't even touch the only time you touch it, play a commercial. Now, we're now going, where do you sit to do that one? In the box. Okay. There ain't no air conditioning in there. I'll bring the fan. <laughs> we got five fans in there. Okay. I'll bring my own personal <laughs> fan, though. Sit you, right here in front of me. It'll be, who's in there? It'll be me, Kara, Harper, and Daniel. Okay. And sometime uh, Lee's wife will come up there till she starts Paxton. to melt. Yeah. When it, she'll say, "No, nah, it's too hot. I'm going, I'm going to the home." House. Yeah. Hey, man, I got to give a shout out to our sponsors again, man. I want to remind everybody we got Clayton Homes of Waycross, and I want to remind everybody they got a big summer sale going on at Clayton Homes right here in Waycross. We got Pizza Inn in Waycross, Camping World of Alasta, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy. Big Daddy's on Highway 84, and I know there's a crowd up there now. We'll be up there Monday night at 6.30. Tom, if you ain't doing nothing, we'll be up there then doing some interviews. At Where Big, da now? Big Daddy's. Big Daddy's. There's a snap. They're going to run a little counter over to the left side. He's going to break it up break, the middle, and he is gone. Oh, no, number, number 13. Was it 13? 11, I think. Was it Bale that got yeah, it? Yeah, okay, it was Bale. That was number 30 that was running the ball, Tom. Yep. At number 30 for Pierce County, that is Gary Monroe. He's Monroe. a senior, Allen. Good hard running. He broke the line of scrimmage. Panthers have one down. Maybe it's just a cramp. Bell ran him down and saved that touchdown, Allen. Yeah, we got, got down, one. what, to the five or six-yard line? Yep. All right, let me get back. We got Big Daddies on Highway 84. We got Burt, CPA. Give Adam Toa a call. Napa of Homerville, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Dre's Snack Shack, Huey's, Homerville Jewelers, Dairy Queen of Homerville, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Metal, Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, and Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program. We appreciate all of them being sponsors. Jamie's gone. We'll see you Monday, brother. 
Y'all gonna stop and eat on the way home? <laughs> no, I know that. <laughs> There's a McDonald's or a Burger King fitting to get robbed. <laughs> hey, there's crystals on the way home, too. Yeah, there's a the crystal. Yeah, get that 24 pack. Hey, With he, a Diet Coke. He eat that Johnny Cash special at the steakhouse coming over here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. A sack yeah. full of crystals and a large Diet Coke. 24 crystals with a Diet Pepsi. Huh? <laughs> I love Jamie and Bill. They do a good job, man. We're going to get him back to calling in when we do our little call in things on. Wednesday and Thursday, which he'll be up there Monday. We did have a girls' softball game Monday and Tuesday, but yep. we're going to do this at Big Daddy's to Player of the Week, and we might have softball Tuesday, might have middle school football Wednesday, JV yep. football Thursday, and Friday night football. <laughs> so we got to look at the schedule if it's all at home. Yeah, the game Wednesday for the JV, I, that's a home. Ella's Middle cheerle- school? Yeah, Ella's a cheerleader. She'll Who do they play, Tom? I don't know. Man, send me that schedule. Uh, hey, there come the Bears trying to add another touchdown. Number 10, ooh, they'll be almost, drugged down. Almost, Alan. If y'all going to sit me this far back without having a TV in front of me, I'm going to have to get some binoculars. Yeah, we're going to By now, my binoculars. contacts is blur- getting blurry. I can't see that far. Here you go, Kessler. Sweat dripping down. That ain't going to help. <laughs> That's my reading glasses. That's why I got them so I don't I'm lose good. them. <laughs> Clock running 250. 20 to 7. Bears on top. They're trying to make it 27 to 7. We over two hours into the game now. It's 934. Oh, <laughs> Storm Spotter said the heat index is 98. <laughs> 98. All right. What's the weather like next Friday, Storm? Go ahead and give us an update. Go ahead and give us an update for next Friday night. Make sure there ain't no hurricanes coming, brother. And walk over there and scare David when he comes home. Yeah. (laughs) He's about headed that way. There they going to do it. He walks in. There's a flag, I think, Tom. Let's see who's it on. It is on the Bears, a five-yard penalty. James will back them up to the seven-yard line, 219 to play in the third. Pierce County still leading 20 to seven. All right. Caden, quarterback, he's going to take it. He's going to hand it back off to 30. Good blocking over there. Panthers wrapped him up at the four. Under two minutes to play now. We got another Panther down over there. Holding his knee. Let's see what that looks like. It might be Bennett, number 19. Hope he's all right. He's a tough kid. Maybe he'll get up. He's laying there. He's hurt. Maybe it's just a cramp. 20 to 7, 149 left. We're going to take a break and we'll be back we'll in be how right long? We'll be right back. Probably this one's going to be about 33 and a half seconds. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everybody, we're back here live on Creek Box. Pierce County has it third and goal from the five-yard line. Panther defense trying to keep him out. 125 to play. He's going to throw it wide open, and Sloan, did he get it? He did. Thrown behind him, he called it a great catch. 
That's going to make it 26 to 7, Pierce County over the Panthers. Here with 122 to play in the varsity game. The JV will play in the fourth quarter here in just a second. All right, 33 back on the try to extra point. He's only missed one tonight. That was his first one. Pretty snap, sit down. All right, right down, down the, the middle. middle Alan. That's gonna make it. Yeah. 27 it will 27 be. 27 to seven. All right, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back in just a few seconds. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Hit that, there we go. Long kick back to the end zone. It's going to be spotted Landed at the, the third. That was a great kick by the Bears. We've got a minute and 22 left to go, Alan. Somebody asked how Bennett was. He's good. Wasn't it just a cramp, Alan? Yeah, I think yeah. so. HWL, my buddy, says we on the radio. All right, man. I want to remind you, we'll be back up uh, next Friday. Hope you're doing good, little Lloyd. We love you, brother. You and Dawn. All right, Panthers, 122 to play in the third. They They're trail. Leaving, but Yep, Bryant's in. He's looking. He's going to throw it. Oh, oh good catch by Bell. Hey, he just showed his vertical yeah. leap there, Allen. Yeah, because he had to throw it over two defenders. Yeah. He stretched out, went up, and got that one, Tom. If he just stood flat-footed and raised his hands in the air, I'm not sure I could jump that high. What we got? So I think that's from Storm Spotter. Oh, yeah, next Friday, weather's partly cloudy, high 92. Uh, maybe. He said he'll keep you posted. I appreciate It'll change that, between now and then. Oh, man, All right, Adam, get a hard run. run. Number six for the Panthers, moving it down the field. That's Zaylin Blank. 109 to play in the third now. All right, first and 10 for the Panthers. All the way down to the 40 yard line of Pierce. Bryant in the gun, wing to the left. There's the snap, Bryant looking, good protection, throwing down the middle, oh, good catch by the Panthers. Blank again with the reception. He'll move it all the way down to the 23-yard line of Pierce County. Well, that's a good little breeze right there, yeah, It Adam. is. It feels good. Boy, it's like the AC's been cut on. Panthers going no huddle. Bryant back at quarterback, wing to the left. 
Two receivers to the left. They're going to run the counter on the deck. Oh, the ball on the ground. Pierce County will fall on it. That's the first fumble tonight for the Panthers. Number 75. Now that Bears. ball just, he got hit and it just popped out. And Jackson Williams with the recovery for the Bears. Mm. Well, let's see if Pierce will take a knee with 44 seconds or they're going to run a play. Here comes the delivery girl. I got the orange popsicle. I think they're all orange. <laughs> hey, go give Mr. Blake one. Go give Mr. Blake that one. Right down there. Somebody's burning trash. Daniel, you want a popsicle? Daniel, you want a popsicle? Pass Thank her you, baby. one. All right, man. I just want to put this in my shirt. Hey, Jamie, you want to order? Mm, that's pretty good there. <laughs> we, might right. have to call a, we might have to call a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pierce coming out passing. Right. That's oh, a good interception, pitch huh? Pierce kind of got Brian greedy. jumped up and They're trying to add some, got greedy, and the Panthers will pick it off. First right, and Allen 10. It's going to be on the 45 yard line. Maybe the Panthers get another score right here before the clock runs out. Boy, that well, that wind's good. blowing now. It feels good. Is it cloudy? Is there a storm coming or something? Because it feels good. I don't good. think so, but it feels good. Cool 85-degree breeze, yeah. and we're bragging on it. Panthers going to call a timeout. We're going to take right, a break we'll take so we can eat our popsicles. popsicles. We'll be right back. <laughs> Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you. All right, we're back here, Creek Box. 38 seconds to play in the third. First and 10 for the Panthers. They just had an interception. They're going to run a counter back to Zalen again, and he's going to lose a yard or two. Give you an update on Allen's popsicle. He had it open on both ends. It's leaked all <laughs> over the press box up here. I didn't know they had it open fourth, man. Panthers will call another timeout. We'll stay right here. <clears throat> the Y'all don't go nowhere now. The game is over with the varsity, but the JV, all the young Panthers are getting to play here. They'll probably play 10 minutes. 16 seconds left to go on the clock, Allen. Think we're going to throw it to Bell? I would. <laughs> I would, too. Second 12, you can probably get two plays, maybe three out of it. Mind everybody, we'll be back live on Creek Box Tuesday with girls softball. 5.30, I think. Daniel, he hit too fast. He got a headache. <laughs> Daniel's got a headache. <laughs> You don't need to swallow them big pieces <laughs> like that, man. You got the nibble on it. <laughs> he had to sit down. Mm. <clears throat> All right, let's see. They're drawing up a play. Here come the Panthers. Corbett will get over the ball. Brian at quarterback, wing to the left, two receivers to the left. Bell out wide. 
They got him double. They're going to put one in his face and one about 20 yards off of him. Looking, looking down the middle of the field. He's got number six. Go! Oh, Tom. man, it was a good throw, number 27. Seven. Come across. I think that Pierce messed County. him up. They don't have him listed. Hmm. He got a hand Anybody, up. Right. Y'all check, yep, y'all check some scores and text them in to us. All right, this will be third down and 12. 10.2 seconds to play in the third now. Wing to the left. They'll bring Bell in motion back to the right. Two of them come with him, Allen. Bryant with the snap. Good protection. He's looking. He's going to throw down the middle again. Can't get there. Good protection there. He's trying to hit blank, running down the middle of the field. That's going to make it fourth and 12. This will be the last play for the Panthers starters. Yep, five seconds left to go. Panthers probably going to chunk it deep here on this one. <laughs> good, ain't it? That popsicle's good in there, Alan. It is, brother. There's a snap. Bryant got pressure. Ooh, got he got pressure to get rid of it. Five. 27 back. Bell will knock him down. But yeah. interception down at about the 12-yard line. That's better than a punt. Yep. But that's over. They'll respot the ball now. The JVs will play. That's good. The Panthers got no starters out. So we're going to take a break while the JVs line up, and we'll be back to get them on. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Enjoy the Peach Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Peach Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. All right, here we go. Panthers have their JV in. Some of these young Panthers, y'all give us time. Big 74s in for the Panthers. Darian Thomas, number 57. Gavin Day. Jonas Pittman out on the field. I think he's at center. Let's see. No. Darian is at center. Macon County beat Lanier 24 to nothing in the fourth. Wears up to 40 to seven. Oh. Trying to get some of them linemen for the Panthers, Tom. Big Jonah Pittman's. Leading the Panthers down the field to swap sides. Where do they have Jonah playing at, Alan? Right guard, right, guard. right tackle, right. right tackle. Get some of the running back, see who's back there at quarterback. What number is that, Tom? That's He's going to take a sweep. Good hard yep. running, the ball comes out. Pierce County. Yeah, they hadn't started the clock. So. Run the clock. I'm telling you, I can't. 
number 24. Is that him coming off? Is that number 17? No. Shane Burns, no. yeah, that's him. Is that 17? 17, that is Antonio, Antonio Stevens. Stevens. Big 58. And that's Tyrone Carter. Panthers have the snap. They're running back to the right again. They got him. Okay, what are they saying? They might go the possessions. East? They might not run a clock. They might like the JV will run so many plays and then they'll swap it over and let Pierce play. I think he just said something about 10 plays or something. All right, then they'll swap it over and Pierce will run 10, 10 plays. 10 plays, and that's going to be it? Yeah. Panthers will stretch out wide receiver to the left. They stay in that wing. Little counter back to number 18. That's Bennett running hard. Or is that number 10, that's Tom? That's number 10, Alan. That's uh... Jaden Reed. He runs the ball hard, man. It's going to be third down and 10, Alan. Really doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I see some lightning back off back, yeah. towards, back towards Blackshear. I think Daniel said it was raining in Homerville, didn't you, Daniel? He got another headache. We just hate to we come gotta on, you. We got to go. quit eating the popsicles so fast. We got to go get him tested. He don't learn. He Panthers are going to give it to number two out wide, trying to get there. Good job by them Bears. They'll hem him up. That is Malik McNair for the Panthers. Fourth and 11, but it really doesn't matter if you're going to run 10 plays. Well, probably it? after four downs, you probably just start. If they run 10 consecutive plays, it probably just after you get forced right. out, just start over first down and They'll 10. They'll come down and give it. That's right. Yeah. Or either come down and give it to them on the. Even if you score a touchdown, yeah. they'll still keep the ball. Here come the Panthers wing to the right. Number 17 is going Good to throw. throw oh, God. Stretch <laughs> out. Stretch he had out him out there. Hit dive after it. Ca Cameron Johnson was out there, man. Great throw by number 17, Antonio Stevens. He let that one fly. <coughs> All right, yeah, Alan, so that's what they're doing and just starting over. So they got It'll one more possession. That's right. Yep. They run, what, four or five plays already. Yep. Panthers stay in the wing. They got a wing to the right. Stevens at quarterback. He'll take the snap. Looking, he's going to run to the right. Trying to get a block. Nowhere to go. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Good job by that Pierce County defense. Number 32 and number 21. 21's Reed Smith. Number 32 is Chance Williams. Now, Alan, who's the JV coach? Is it uh, is that, Langston, is it Langston and uh, Dennis, Dennis Rowland? Drew Rowland. Drew, Drew and Langston, they do the JV? Yeah. All right, Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the right. Stevens, quarterback, he'd take the snap, trying to run the counter back to Reed. He's going to bounce it outside. Five, ten. Oh, he's gone, Alan. Fifteen. He'll cut back. Twenty-five yard gain. I tell you, he runs it oh, hard. He's now. fast too. He is. He'll get it all the way down to the Bear forty-seven yard line. I think, Alan, next game I come do with you, I'm you're just going to have to. I'll drive. Y'all can ride with me. The only way I'm going to get here on time. I'll yeah. wait on Emily and Ella and all them girls always getting ready at my house with Ella. 
I knew you were going to be late when, you, when I found out Emily was riding with you. Well, it's not Emily. It's Ella. And, and there's a, we hungry. But yeah, we hungry. <laughs> got to stop here and stop at the store. And. All right. All right. Here come the Panthers. They got number two at quarterback now. That is Mark McNair. Malik McNair, excuse me. Panthers try to run a counter back. They'll pick up a yard or two. And, Tom, this has played, what, seven, six, seven, eight, something like that? Yeah, I think probably play number seven. McNair quarterback now. Take Denmark in the game. 21, no, that 27, excuse me. That is 27, that is Grayson, Grayson Hires. There's the snap. McNair's going to run to the right, and he'll pick up four or five yards. Blake, where are you going? Got to clean up that sideline. Yeah. <laughs> lost his cell phone. Oh, I thought he was talking about one of the players uh, lost his cell know. phone. All right, Panthers driving. It's third and four. Can't be many more plays. They got, I think they got 10 plays apiece. Wing to the right, McNair quarterback. He's going to run that way. They pull a guard. He hits him, gets up. Got the first down. Good job by McNair. Good blocking out there by the offensive line. They'll move it. All right. They got the first down, but it, that was play number yep, 10. That was play number 10 plays away. Yep. So the Panthers, now they can still win if they get a scoop and score or pick six. But now the defense has to hold on to get out of here with a tie with the JV. All right, we're going to get to see the JV defense Alexis now. Williams says you can't announce the game for eating popsicles. Man. Alexis, they, it's hot. I, I wish it's I had another hot. one, cuz. I do, too. <laughs> we I'm might stop we on the way out and buy a couple. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't know they were existent in the first yeah. quarter. We wouldn't have announced any. No. All right, here we go. Pierce County with an opportunity now. See what some of these young Panthers defense look like. Somebody moved early. I, I don't know was, who it was. Pierce County jumped off sides. Looked like they did that Eric Lutz snap. Eric said, all right, we're going on two. We're going on two. He's snapping on one. one. We all got killed. <laughs> man, we got a first down. The referee said, no, you center snapped the ball, man. <laughs> 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 He'd always remind you, go on two. Now we're going on two. He's snapping He's on one. Snapping on one. You know, you're sitting there not <laughs> yeah, even expecting. Not expecting it. Good run there. Look out. Oh, He's gone. gone, Alan. What number is that? He's going so fast it's a blur. Number 10. Number 10. That is that a Marquez Leggett. No, that's not Marquez. Oh. <laughs> No. The original ones. Okay. You know, All right, that's a JV you. number that's a JV 10, number I think. 10. But, brother, he run like Leggett did. Yep. One cut, and he was gone. That makes it six to nothing, so they'll come back and respot it. Out of no storm spotter says that Is the lightning's headed our way. How much time we got, Storm? Give us a time, baby. He said that light. let's see. Lightning's 30 miles out, but it can strike 10 miles out from any thunderstorm. So we got a 20-mile cushion, yep, baby. Yep, and the wind's blowing, blowing All our right. way. Mate, they better hurry to get the 10 plays in. We got we got six, seven plays. Yep. All right, here come the Bears. JV scoring three. 
Panthers in a 5-2. They're going to run a little old sweep. Pierce County does to the left. He's going to bounce it outside. One, two, three, four. Panthers finally get him down. Number two is McNair. Number 18 is Self. Number three is Travis Miller, along with number 12, which is Caramon Johnson. Yeah, we got to wish Alexis a happy birthday, man. He had a yeah. birthday here about a week ago. How old he turned? Man, I think he's 53. Yeah. <laughs> At least 53. <laughs> yeah, he looked 41, but he's really 53. 53, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He'll text you in yeah, just a I, minute. He'll, he'll get on your head. <laughs> All right, At number, number 32. 32 out, outside. he got that shadow blocking going on all the way to the sideline. <clears throat> number 32 for Pierce is Chance Williams again. Here come the Bears. I think that's play five, Tom. Pierce County's got some good young running backs, man. Good line blocking up there for the Bears. There's a the snap. Going to run over here to the left. Panthers hit him at the line. Good hard running by the Bears. He picked up, drugged some of the Panthers about another five yards, Allen. Self on the tackle again. Williams again on the carry. Self will come off the field. Panthers replaced him with number 21. No, that's not 21 over here at right end. Trying to get him. Bears break the huddle. Big back back there, number 30. What number is that, Tom, for Pierce? 30. That's 30. That's number 30. He runs it hard. Panthers get him out of the line. Good job by that defense this time. That is number 31 for the Panthers. Fred Causey. Big 74 coming in the game now for the Panthers, that's Darian Thomas. 51 coming out. No, 61. Kawade Williams. Third down and two for the Bears. I think this is play seven or eight. Gonna run back, lean in there. Panthers again will wrap him up. I don't know if he got it. It's gonna be close. Good job there. Big number 58 in there. That's Tyrone Carter on the tackle. Like fourth. It's fourth and one, Allen. Two or three plays left in the game. Yep, this is uh, eight or nine, I think. There's a snap. It's going to get by him. Look ground, out. He's going to try to pick it up. Nowhere to go. Oh, ball oh. on the ground. Pick it Man, up. Man, 74 had it in his hands. That's Thomas. He could have sprinted to the end. I'd like to have seen it. I anyway. would have too. <laughs> oh. He'll lose about 20 yards. That All might right, be this it. Oh, the Panthers get the ball back. No, Pierce still has the ball. Okay. This must be play nine. Tell you what, the band Bear, yeah. section over there for Pierce County and the cheerleaders still here cheering on the Bears. Tom, we've been playing for almost three and a half hours, brother. It's 10.06. I'm getting old. It's past my bedtime. I heard that. All right, here come the Bears now. I got a couple of plays left. There's a snap. Uh-oh, look, he's going to throw it deep. Got he's him out there. Open. Wide open. Good job, yeah. number 12. We'll run him down. And number 34 catching the ball for the Bears. 
Camarion Johnson for the Panthers kept him from scoring. And what number was that for the Bears, Tom? 34. 34. That is, I don't have 34, brother. This has got to be nine or ten. We've been saying that for three plays. I, I think they gave them some extra plays. Number 30 in the backfield for the Bears. He's going to take the snap. Run over here to the right. We got illegal oh. procedure, I think. You could have let him have that. The up back was leaning forward just a little bit. There's a lot of people headed back through Waycross now, Tom. A lot of Panther fans. Yep, I think it's bad weather, so y'all be careful. Yeah, I think a lot of people are satisfied with the way the Panthers played tonight. Man. Oh, yeah, they played. They played. Had a couple penalties, Alan. That's that hurt right. us. Big crucial times, too. You're going to throw this one, Tom. His legs are split. No, 32 is going to run that Keep way. It. Good job by the Panther defense. Number 23 on the stop for the Panthers. As Xavier Reed. This has got to be the 10th play. Pierce County probably tried to throw it to the end zone here. That was a pretty pass he threw just a minute ago. There's the snap. He's going to try to get wide. He cuts back Big up. Number. Good That's job 35. by the Panther defense, number 14. That's Mingo on the stop. That's it. That's going to be the be. game. All right, Alan. Well, I enjoyed it. JV lost six to nothing over here in Pierce County. But, um, Varsity, Varsity got beat 27 to seven. Yeah, yep. Man, we appreciate everybody tuning in. Want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back Tuesday with some girls softball. Tom said he'll try, try to, to come out Tuesday. there. Um, we'll let you know what the schedule looks like the rest of the week then, but I got to give a shout out to our sponsors. They're the one that, make, that makes it possible. We got Clayton Holmes and Waycross, man. They got their summer, summer specials going on. Y'all stop by and see what they got. You don't like what you got, they can get it to you. Clayton Holmes and Waycross. Pizza Inn and Waycross. Camping World of Alasta. You go over to Camping World and mention Creek Box, you get $500 off your purchase of a new camper. Clinch Memorial Pharmacy. Big Daddies on Highway 84. We'll be there Monday night to talk about Clinch football at 630. Burt, CPA, give Adam Toa a call. Napa of Homerville. Clinch Memorial Hospital. Dre's Snack Shack. Dre's probably got them ribs on, smoking, waiting on you right now. Huey's. Homerville Jewelers, Dairy Queen of Homerville, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Douglas Metal, Lutz Brown Insurance, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Savage Turner Law Firm out of Savannah, Georgia, and Clinch Memorial Hospital Paramedicine Program. We got some more sponsors that we're going to add next week. We appreciate all of them. If any of y'all would love to become a sponsor, you'll let me, Daniel, Lexi, Connor, Beth, Tom, anybody know. And uh, Brent, we can hook you up. As my buddy, Mr. Barry and Sutton used to say, y'all please tell someone about Jesus. God bless you, and we'll see you Tuesday.